I will never send troops anywhere on a mission of that kind without telling them that if somebody shoots at them, they can darn well shoot back. All right, welcome back. Welcome back. And I'm going to go ahead and dive right into it. So, as I had mentioned before the break, I am going to be covering a little bit on the March for Our Lives, the anti-gun protest that was going on all over the place, really. And, you know, there's quite a few excellent, good, amazing points on here. And this one I've seen, okay, uh, this one, the 10 dumbest signs from the March for Our Lives anti-gun protest. And this one came from the right scoop. And I got to tell you what, there, there's actually a couple on here and with with pictures of different things. And I tell you what, the thing that was more appalling to me was that how, eh, okay, let's see here. Bam. Good morning, Hello. sir. How are you? Yep. What's up? Not much. How are you doing? Oh. Um. I'm doing pretty good, so how's the show going? Pretty decent. Can't complain. Yeah, how do you feel about Kevin Bob? How do I feel about who? Kevin Bob. Kevin Bob? Kevin Bob? Yeah, he's a, he's a, he's a cool guy. I do not know him. Well, well anyway, I just want to say the show is amazing, and you just got to keep keep it going every day. Awesome. I appreciate it, sir. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, but yeah, I was, uh, <laughs> so, but yeah, I was looking at the pictures on this and I tell you what, but, but the thing that just, it was appalling to me of how, you know, failure of the education system, you know, how little people actually understand, you know. Uh, one of the signs, you know, John Wick only needed a pencil. And you know what? He was still able to kill quite a few different people with just a pencil. You know, <laughs> what was that movie? Uh, not Pitch Black, but the one that came after that one. You know, he killed a guy with a can, I think, you know. Um <laughs> Another one is child holding a sign. I can't even bring peanut butter to a school. Ban guns. Well, you're not supposed to bring a gun to school either. You know. Yeah. I mean, there's, it, it's amazing how many people, you know, how uh, limited, not really how limited, but. A sort of go, you know, you uh, you definitely bring up a good point on that one. He says that I think that the gun laws that are on the books are already too restrictive. I think fully automatic should be legal. Anything the military has, we should be able to get. And that's how the founders intended it. And you're absolutely right. <clears throat> you know, back then, whenever they wrote, you know, the Second Amendment, they had that, you know. And it was actually kind of kind of funny, too, that, oh, yeah, John Wick is a badass. <clears throat> They actually ended up writing a law, I don't remember where, but it was basically f telling families that, well, you know, and th this actually even goes back to uh, one of the amendments, was it an amendment or was it a law? I think it was a law that uh, President George Washington put on the books with the, uh, the Militia Act, you know, stating that you had to have a military quality gun in your house, you know, because that was one of the things that, you know, the, okay, let's put it like this. You know, one of the things that a, a sort of goat said and is, is very much true, but one of an aspect of in here that he didn't put in here was the whole entire point of the second amendment wasn't to protect our rights to hunt our own food. That wasn't the intent. The intent was to keep the government in check because the constitution restricts <clears throat> the constitution that restricts the what the government's powers and what they can do and it grants powers rights to the people that's what the constitution does 
So the whole entire point on that wasn't to, you know, the whole entire point of the Second Amendment, it wasn't to for hunting. It wasn't for anything like that. It was to keep the military in check or it was to keep the government in check because the people shouldn't fear the government. The government should be fearing the people. That's how it was intended. OK, that's totally how it was intended. Mm hmm. Overzealous government equals guns. Totally. So, you know, but yeah, I mean, it was just it was striking to me how many, you know, how many of these signs just definitely showed people's ignorance on things. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with ignorance. You can cure ignorance with an education. What I despise is stupidity because there is no fixing stupid. And we got another caller. <clears throat> Good morning, sir. How are you doing today? <laughs> All right. Yep. Do do do. Bat crazy deer. <laughs> I like that. The Second Amendment was created in case the deer tried to. Fight back. That's hilarious. He was joking on that one. Oh, come on now. All right. So next article. All right. And this is getting into the uh, the Portland thing. One of the things in here that I thought was absolutely hilarious was what he put in here for. Oh, where did it go? Ah, crap. Sorry. Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> All right. One of the kids, uh, this came from uh, CNN politics <clears throat> and one of the kids of the, uh, this, one of the survivors of the Parkland shooting, um, they're basically saying that we need to keep checking our privilege. You know, I, I guess one of the things that they were upset about is of the lack of voice that the black community had through this. And so we needed to check our privilege so that this way, <clears throat> Uh, you know, to give them a, a better voice. And I just, you know, it's like, are you kidding me? You know, it's, it's, <clears throat> it's an aspect of taxation is theft. You are absolutely right. However, there are things in the constitution that they are allowed to tax for, but great many of the things that they tax us for, they do not have the constitutional right to take our money for. And therefore, yes, definitely theft. But anyway, what, I despise about this message is the Parkland kids keep checking their privilege. You're basically saying that the black community can't do anything unless we check our white privilege and we basically say what they are saying and repeat what they are saying, you know, that allowing their allowing our voice to become their voice. What, what really? You know, that you think that black people don't have a voice of their own and that black people can only do something if the white man, you know, allows them to. I don't get that. I don't get that at all. Another article I read, this one, of course, is another one. This is totally like, holy crap, I cannot believe people actually just don't seem to get it. You know, they really don't. This one, you know, one of the survivors, he was ticked. And he was saying, let me let me find the article because I'm going to read it verbatim. Actual taxation is extortion. For the most part, you know, I, I do agree with that, you know, but again, you know, there are certain things that the, you know, the Constitution does provide the power of the federal government to tax. One of them being, you know, uh, one of them being security, you know, the, the military, you know, uh, securing the border, and of which case the government doesn't do that adequately. They should, but they don't, and that's one of the things that they're allowed to tax for. Uh, my thoughts on Trump implementing higher tariffs. That one is... <clears throat> Those are pretty much in, in a response to what China is doing because they are putting higher tariffs on our things. Um, you know, so in a matter of speaking, it's like, 
ending of the uh, the trade to where you are allowing Chinese goods to be sold. I co I covered that earlier. Uh, I'm not really going to go over that. You know, again, I am in in short, I'm for them. Not really the tariffs aspect of it, but the whole raising of of the cost in order so that this way we're not, you know. Uh, you know, lowering foreign goods just for the sake of making them, you know, cheaper, you know, but yeah, I disagree with you on that. Um, why should, or I'm sorry, we should have never, it. we should have never judged people based off of race or religion in the first place. It's one of our major problems in this nation one of our major problems as a nation. Yes, I, I very much agree with you on that, you know. Uh, Martin Luther King Jr., you know, he, you know, his dream was a world that was colorblind, you know, that what people were based off of the, their merit, not on the color of their skin, not on their sex, not on their, you know, religion, not on any of that, you know, and I, I totally agree with you on that. Let's see. I think that if we didn't have this monstrosity of a na of national debt, and had spending cut significantly, we could, you know, survive off of a national sales tax. <clears throat> Absolutely, you know, and that's one of them things. Let me let me play this. Uh, da -da 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 -da. No, tag gummit. Yeah, here it is. I believe that our problem has not been that anybody in our country is undertaxed. It's that government is overfed. And absolutely, government's overfed. You know, they take the money because they believe that they're entitled to it because their belief is that we are too stupid to have our own best interests in mind whenever they do that. I don't get it, but that's basically what they say. You know, so yeah. Monstrosity of a national debt, we could definitely survive off of the... See, it's not that we cut spending. You know, they need a complete... They Okay, it's not uh, just lower taxes, because lowering taxes isn't going to do anything but increase our national debt. Where the problem is, isn't with taxation, but yes, I do believe that we are taxed heavily, and we shouldn't be taxed that heavily, but we're taxed that heavily. That's just a symptom of the problem. The problem isn't high taxes. The problem is an out of control spending. That's the out of control aspect of government. The problem isn't the high taxes. The problem is the out of control spending, you know? Okay, I will most definitely do that. My favorite redhead. But yeah, that's what the problem is. You know, it's, it's not over taxation, it is horrible spending. So, moving on. Yeah, and I guess this uh, Parkland student, because this uh, the last two things that I've covered on the uh, the Parkland student, both of them were the same thing. And I guess he did also a little salute that he did, which was you know the fist of power, I guess what you want to call it. You know, <sighs> again, the kid is showing his ignorance. You know. He's youthfulness. He's showing his ignorance. And one of the things that I completely have to laugh my butt off about, <laughs> you know, definitely, definitely have to laugh my butt off about is that here they are. Okay. This headline, uh, let me, let me come it up. Yeah, there it is. Red state. The parkland students just learned what asking for more safety means. And they naturally, don't like it. Oh, yeah, yeah. It definitely seemed like the Nazi salute. I mean, it, it that's, uh, you know, with the angle of his arm and everything else, that's basically what it looks like to me, too. That's what I thought of whenever I seen it. But this one, let me go ahead and take that off. There we go. Red State, the Parkland student just learned what asking for more safety means, and they naturally don't like it. See, one of the problems is that these guys... You know, <laughs> and I am going to have links to the, you know, every single article that I've used in the show and uh, links to, you know, that page, which will be available on the website and will also be available in the show notes, I believe. So, you know, if you guys want to take a look at that afterwards, I'll definitely get that in there. 
And actually, otherwise, let me, you know what, let me go ahead and put, where's that thing at? Here's a link to it. Let me go ahead and put a link. If it'll let me put a link in here. Put a link in here. There you go. There's the link for it. Click on that link. That'll take you right to it. So what's funny is what they were more or less talking about in this article, okay, they don't like some of the things that have, that have been doing. You know, they have to have, um, you know, student ID cards on them at all times. They have to have a basically a plastic, clear, see-through backpack. And they're like, oh, well, this is a violation of my, of my privacy you know, so you guys can't do this. And, you know, basically is what it amounted to is they wanted the restriction, restriction, restriction on the gun laws, but they did not want to change anything that they did. You know, it's one of them things that, you know, the uh, the Benjamin Franklin said, you know, that if you if you are willing to give up security, no, I'm sorry, give up freedom for security, you will lose both and deserve neither. I didn't, I don't think I worded that quite right. Let me, let me find that actually. It's in here somewhere. I know it's in here. No, no. That's in here somewhere. Yeah, anyway, it doesn't matter. I pretty well got it right. But yeah, that's what that's what they are not liking in this. They are definitely ticked off that they are having to change how they do things and they are unwilling to sacrifice their freedom for their own security. You see, I am absolutely loving this because they are now having to deal with the problem, I don't want to say necessarily that they created, but they asked for it. You know, you can't stop crazy people from doing crazy things. But what you can do is you can give them a deterrent. You know, that's why on the last show, one of the things I was advocating for was, you know, I'll get to that later. I'll get to that later. So one of the things that... <coughs> Oh, man, I hate coughing. I really do. Coughing sucks. But one of the things that they thought was absolutely the just the best and and greatest answer to this was this article from CNN. This school district is arming students with rocks in case of a shooter. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Do you actually think that's going to work? I mean, yeah, that's great. Let's arm students with rocks and that'll definitely you know get that whole not have to worry about a shooter anymore that's awesome it's epic will you stop it I'm getting somebody texting me like holy crap stop texting me and I guess the NRA wasn't too nice about the Parkland teens that uh, to them that are, you know, speaking up against this. But the story that I'm really wanting to cover on this, and this again, this is absolutely, you're not hearing about this on the news because this does not fit the agenda. Because the agenda is guns are bad. Guns kill people. It ain't the people's fault that the gun just happens to pull its own trigger. <laughs> this headline Maryland school shooting is being ignored by the media because it doesn't fit their narrative. Exactly. A 17-year-old started firing his pistol, wounding a young girl and a 14-year-old boy. Within a minute, the school's resource officer, Deputy Blaine Gaskell, returned fire. And like that, the gunfight was over. The only loss of life in this... was the 17-year-old that went in there with a the pistol, breaking the law, went in there with a the pistol, and started shooting a girl and a 14-year-old boy. Who knows if the good guy with a gun was not there, who knows how many other people would have been shot 
and killed. But again, you're not hearing this on mainstream media. Why? Because it's not fitting a narrative. If you actually cared about your students, if you cared about their lives, if you cared about what was going on, then you would arm the teachers, you would arm school faculty, janitorial staff, whomever, you know, people who worked in the office, the non-students that worked in the office, you know. Because when you have a sign on there and everybody knows that this is a gun-free zone and guns aren't allowed in here, whenever a criminal walks up to the door with a gun, he's not going to turn around because he sees, you know, guns banned from this location. No. But what is going to stop him from going in there is knowing that if they shoot at them, they're going to get shot back in return. That'll stop them. That's a you know that's something that was going to stop them from doing this. I don't understand why that's so hard to figure out. You know, I mean, if yes, you're not going to stop the crazy people. Okay, it's already illegal to do this. It's already illegal to break the crime. The crime is already there. The, it was already illegal to carry a gun inside school before the guys ever started going into schools with a gun. It was already illegal. And you can't stop them from doing that. But what you can do is better arm and better prepare for when it happens, if it happens. And hopefully it never does. But that's what happens. Quick break. Last segment that I got. How long has this one been going? Nah, it's not too bad. Last segment. I got some interesting news. Just miscellaneous stuff. My first one is going to be about a space station. A Russian space station is actually not, it's not a Russian space station. It's a Chinese space station. But I bring that one in there because it's funny. It's hilarious. And I laughed. So, quick break. I'll be back. Yep, that one. Ew. <laughs> 